Brian Pickett, Graham Cornies, David Kelly, James Chapel, all together, Voodoo Highway Music. You have won two SoCan Awards tonight, International TV Series Music Award for Paw Patrol, Domestic TV Music Award for Animated for Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Why do you think Paw Patrol is such a huge success? I think it's an amazing place to spend some time in. You know, there's no uh, real uh, bad guy of this series. We're solving problems like helping turtles cross the road and, uh, you know, just in general, yeah, teamwork and, uh, and all of that. I think uh, the people who designed the world designed a fun place to spend time, and I think kids caught on to that. Cool. And the music. That's not and yeah, good and the music, right? The songs, yeah. the music, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully. Voodoo Highway, you guys are one of the hardest working composition teams in America. You guys compose music, design audio for films, animation, video games, hundreds of TV episodes, ads. How do you guys still have lives? You don't. We don't. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> We're it's, so, it's somewhat of a myth. It's actually really hard to keep work-life balance. And uh, honestly, I think uh, at first we kind of had to throw that all out. And then um, over time, I think we were able to get a little bit of it back. I think uh, at the very beginning, I think something that it would have taken me, you know, days to write we could uh, write in a day now easily. Um, so I think reclaiming some work-life balance was a matter of getting better at our craft, I think. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. How, uh, how did you guys build the company to the point where it's now, you know, you're working with like NBC, Disney, Nickelodeon, Bud Light, Cartoon Network, Sony, Sony PlayStation 3, Fox Speed Network, PBS. You're working with major league people all the time. How did you build it to get to that point? I think, uh, you know, I guess the short answer would be it's like a trail of breadcrumbs. You know, it's uh, we kept on following one gig to the next and uh, they got bigger over time, luckily, you know. Yeah, I know that doesn't always sure. <laughs> No, yeah. it doesn't always happen, but for us uh, it did and we're super grateful. How does scoring for an animated show like Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood compare to scoring for a non-animated show? There lot, there are yeah, issues. there's yeah, I would say that, uh, you know, one of the things in animation that's really particular in animation is that, you know, a, a long segment would be like seven to ten seconds. You know, a lot of our jokes are three to six seconds long. Yeah. You know, and when you're dealing with, you know, a, a show, uh, you know, that's long form, you're, you're thinking in much broader strokes. Sure. So, um, yeah. so, yeah, I think that, you know, we've, we've partly become really fast at scoring because we're scoring a lot in a, a short period of time. You know, doing 22 minutes of animation right. is, uh, is a heck of a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. 60 to 70 yeah. cues. Yeah. yeah, 60 wow. to 70 cues per episode. Wow. So, All yeah. different Lots. styles, too. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Totally. Guys, congratulations. Thank and you very great much. Night. Thanks so much for talking Thanks. to us. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Thanks. Have a nice night.